Hey guys, this is Monica with the Roman Plans and today I'm back here in my budget planner and we are here to check in for the first week-ish of February. <laughs> the timeline is a little bit off due to um, me setting up my February budget a little bit late. So I'm just basically going to check in for the first up until week today, which is Thursday the 10th, so about the first week and a half. Um, we haven't had a ton of spending so far. Um, we have had two extra debt payments and we actually paid off our Best Buy credit card, which was really awesome. So that is completely paid off. So our next debt payment will actually be going to the next debt that we are going to be paying off. And then our traveler's bill did come out. So I went ahead and moved this to here. I didn't move the electric up yet just because in case the electric comes out on the 10th or later on, I can move that and I didn't want to move the stickers multiple times if I could help it. But, but we did have our gas bill and our traveler's bill come out as well. And then we also had a check come in from my husband's FMLA when he tested positive for COVID and had to quarantine part, like a very small part of that he had to do on FMLA. And so we went ahead and got a check for that. We So we received a check for that. So I put it here because this is where I'm putting like the miscellaneous income that we get throughout the month. But we are expecting that it'll probably just either even out or be close to what his pay normally is because of the way that works, that his normal pay will be down. So I want to move over to the weekly check-in. And this is where I look at the categories that are very highly variable. And there's things that we have a little bit of control over. Sometimes it's not things we have a ton of control over, but we do have a little bit. And I just want to make sure that we are in budget. And if we're not, or see how we are going for each week for the month to see if we need to make changes like the second part of the month to make sure we're in budget. So the categories that we track, we track eating out. We also track gas for the car. We track groceries. And then we do track unbudgeted. But we, um, even though we don't budget anything for unbudgeted, we do track it so I can see if we're spending any money there. So for eating out, it is the pink color. So we did have a couple of transactions there. We got some McDonald's for 1901. And then we got a pizza for 35.88. And then we got some McDonald's again for 870. So that was 63.59. And we budgeted 300. So we have 236.41 left over. I'm gonna go ahead and divide it by three even though it's really like two and a half weeks. That gives us 78.80 per week which is pretty good. And then for gas, we did both fill up on Wednesday the 9th. So that was for 44.01 plus 43.31. And I just checked these off so I know that they have been checked off. And that way, when we are going through the weekly check-ins, I'm not double tracking anything. So we spent $87.32 for gas, and then we did budget $300 for that as well. So that gives us $212.68 divided by three, which is $70.89 per week, which is really, that's fine because I don't drive my car very much because I do work from home where my husband works where my husband does not work from home and he goes to school. So he definitely drives more than me. So that should be fine through the end of the month. And then the last thing that we have is groceries. And we only had one thing of groceries for $68.80, which is 
less than what we budget. So we budget $75 per week and then $200 for our Sam's trip. So that is less money, which is good. So this week, so this month we budgeted 500 and then minus 6880. So we have 43120 left over. And the way I do the remaining per week is I always back out 200 of that and then divide it by three. So that gives us 7707 per week because I don't want to just divide this number by three because that will make it look like we have way more per week. And then by the time we get ready to do our Sam's trip, we don't have enough money to do that. So overall, we're doing really well with our budget. Not a lot of spending, which is really nice. So I'm super excited about that. We did just buy a Peloton. It hasn't been delivered yet, but we are super excited about it. So that is something that will come up in our budget. Um, and that was, is something that will definitely be in our budget for March, but I don't think we'll have any unbudgeted for that this month, but we'll see. And then one thing that I forgot to put down here is we did do a singing funds transfer on the 5th, I believe. And that was for seven ninety, and that took care of our sinking funds for the month of what comes out of our monthly budget. And then looking at our sinking funds page, I did put $25 into the planner fund. So we went ahead and did that. I don't put the total here until the end of the month because as I add stuff to it throughout the month, I don't want to have to mark this out. So this month we haven't had a lot of, um, we just haven't had a lot of spending this month. And I think it's because we're kind of easing back into things from being quarantined. And so we're just not spending a lot of money, which is awesome. So we did go to Walmart and we ended up getting some stuff for Michaela. Um, we got her some new shoes and some new bedroom slippers that she wanted. So we got that and then we made a payment to daycare for $800 and 80 cents. And the 80 cents was just to bring our balance there back to an even dollar because we got a discount or like a partial payment for when we were quarantined, they didn't charge us the whole week while we were quarantined. And then we did buy some stuff on Amazon for $29.65. And that's really the only spending that we have done so far in February. So I'm super excited about this month and just how it's going so far. If you've been around for a while, you know that for the last couple of months, we've really struggled with eating out. And it's just been hard to keep that under control. So I'm really excited that we still have $78 per week for eating out. Things are looking good for us to be able to stay within budget because we need to stay within budget for this. And things are looking good with groceries and gas too. Um, gas is a little bit more out of our control right now. We as you probably have experienced, our gas prices are going up. There is a place near us that has cheaper gas prices than everywhere else. So I've started going there instead of um, our normal QT. <laughs> I think it's, that's usually where we go. But just trying to save some money there. And But gas is something where we need to drive. So... But it is something that we can control where at the end of the month, if we need to see if we can push getting gas until the next month. But we'll see how it goes. But that is our budget so far this week. I hope you're having a great February so far. Let me know down below how your February is going. And I hope you like this video. If you did, go ahead, hit that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any more of my videos. And I hope you have a great day. Mm -hmm.